Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here. Sorry my video was frozen just for a, a fraction of a second at the beginning of this video. It's getting better. But today I decided to shoot for you a powder only look. On this side of my face I'm wearing powder only and this is also going to be kind of like a quick, fast, super simple makeup look. Kind of similar to my, what's that challenge I did? Um, the, oh man I can't remember what it's called. One of the challenges I did, it was like one of my most popular videos where you use the minimal amount of products to minimal amount of makeup and you still feel beautiful and I had four products. This is basically that same look but instead of using a liquid and a powder, I'm just going to use a powder foundation and as you guys know, my skin, this is, I have one half kind of done, um, my skin is oily, acne prone and I have a lot of acne scarring. So I'm going to show you how I cover this up with just powder. So I cleansed my face, exfoliated in the shower, and then I applied the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. That's what I have on this side already. And that really just um, helps to mattify your face and smooth it out and blur the appearance of any fine lines, wrinkles, and imperfections. And then from there, I'll take a flat top brush. You want to use a dense flat top brush for this so you can pack on the um, powder to get the most coverage as possible. And the first powder I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Tree Match Super Blendable Powder in the color N8 Cappuccino. And I'm going to use this powder, and I recommend this powder because it gives you, like, the most coverage. And I have a whole bunch of clothes here, which I don't want to get dirty. So what I'm going to do, hopefully you can see, is I'm just going to take my brush and you want to just press it into the powder to get the most color payoff. Just press it in. It should look like this. You see there's powder on there. And what you're going to do is you're just going to tap, start tapping your face. And as you can see, I'm already getting some coverage. And you just want to keep doing this until you get the desired amount of coverage that you want. And the only reason I'm using this powder is because I know that it provides really, really good coverage. But it's a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit of the wrong color for my skin tone. So I'm going to go over the top of it with another powder to help color correct it. And it's really easy, literally just press and press. <laughs> and as you can see, we're already almost to like full coverage of my acne scar and stuff. And this is like if you're really in a rush or you just don't really feel like, you know, putting on foundation or BB cream or any of that stuff, but you still want to get a somewhat flawless medium coverage. I recommend this. I'm actually deep conditioning under here, which is why I have on this head wrap. I'm deep conditioning right now, doing another swag bag first impression underneath. And so I'm just going to go around the hairline. Well, not all the way up to my hairline because it has deep conditioner on it, but like, you know, the visible parts of my face. <laughs> and I'm just patting this on. And as you can see, those dark marks are disappearing. <laughs> I'm going to look at my small mirror to make sure. The only bad thing about this is that it will give you kind of a cakey appearance at first, but once your oils start to come through, or if you decide to use a setting spray, that will help take away the cakiness of it and the powdery look that it will leave on your skin. So, alright. Don't forget to get, like, down under here. So it blends. Alrighty, so that's the first layer, or the first powder. So again, I use the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. Looks like this, and I'm using the color N8 Cappuccino, just so you can see. Now I'm going to go in with the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder and Creamy Bronze Finish. And this is going to help to like make the color a little bit warmer and just more like my skin. And I'm using the same technique. I'm just patting this in the product and then I'm patting it onto my face. This will also help add additional coverage by using two different powders. But the base powder was really to provide coverage. This one is more to perfect the color and the tone of the makeup. And this is perfect for my ladies that have 
um, clear skin. You don't really need to wear a liquid foundation. You can just go ahead and use a nice light application of powder to help even out your skin tone and provide you a flawless base for the rest of your makeup. And as you can see, this is a lot faster than liquids or creams. Alrighty, let me see in my mirror. Oh yeah, boo. I'll give you all a close up. As you can see, oops, I got some makeup on my uh, head scarf. That's okay. As you can see, the skin looks rather flawless now. I recommend doing this before you put on your head scarf, but as you guys know, I'm deep conditioning so that you don't get makeup on it. <laughs> after your hair, after you do your hair and before you put on the head wrap, if you're gonna wear a head wrap. So that is it for the skin. Now let me tell you what I have on my lips because I know people are gonna ask. I've been really feeling purple and pink lips lately and I'm wearing a mixture of two Milani lipsticks and they are these two which this one is Violet Volt I have a swatch on this too I'm not gonna swatch it for you but this is what it looks like Violet Volt and I mixed it with another Milani lipstick in matte glam which I have been loving oh no did I, oh, I mixed them up this is Violet Volt right here and the other one that I just showed you is matte glam and I'll hold them up next to each other just so you can see that they're basically the same color, one's just matte. As you can see, they're very close. This is Violet Volt, this is Matte Glam. So I mix these two together to create the purple lipstick that I have on. And again, these are by Milani Cosmetics and they're $5.99 each at Walmart. I love Milani lipsticks, but I want it kind of like, I don't know, I just wanted to mix them together, but I love each individually as well. So that's what's on my lips. As you guys, you already know what's on my face. Um, let's talk about my eyebrow. I did one eyebrow super duper quickly. Um, basically, I just followed what's already there. And I used, of course, my Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow. Brow. Pencil. <laughs> and this is the one in Brunette's Do It Better. And I literally just... Follow the hairs that were already there. I'm not going for super perfect or defined brows. I'm really going for more of like a natural look today. Because I'm not going out anywhere. And I'm just going to be recording a couple videos for you guys today. And I don't really feel like being full on beat face glam today. So what you see in this video is the only makeup I'm going to wear. And literally I'm just following the natural shape of my brows. You can see. Oh, my hand is so shaky. My mirror is like quivering. I'm go ahead and add a little bit more to this side so they match. <laughs> and we're going to go to the tail. Now this one doesn't look as neat. <laughs> and it has a spoolie on the other side, so I'm going to use that to just blend the product through and to kind of feather out the beginning of the brow and to comb through I don't know why this one looks so much better than this one but anyways <laughs> those are my brows and now I'm gonna shoot a first impressions video on a new mascara I got from Black Radiance so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to use powder only to cover up you know your skin. Let me get closer just so you guys can see. That 
even if you have acne scars, hyperpigmentation, you can use powder only to achieve a nice medium to full coverage. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to tell you the two powders I use just so you know, because you know I don't list things in the description box. And that's for reasons, so that you guys listen and watch my videos. Pay attention. If I'm going to take the time to record it, you can take the time to listen. So the first powder I use is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. Use your whatever shade you want that matches your skin. And on top of that, I apply the Black Radiance True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder. For my skin tone reference, I used N8 Cappuccino and I used Creamy Bronze Finish. And that is how I got this nice flawless coverage with powder only. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for your support. My channel has been flourishing and growing like crazy. And it's all thanks to you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, YouTube.